Hi. So today is day two of our lockdown. And I wanted to give you an overview of um, the theme that I'll be focusing on for what I'm calling the LDP, the Lockdown Project. And that is based on the writings of Jonathan Fields. Now, Jonathan Fields, um, he wrote a book called How to Live a Good Life. And he introduces a concept that um, is very easy to grasp. Um, and it's a simple division of our lives into three compartments. And he calls these his three good life buckets. And each bucket represents um, a specific theme that um, enables us to be able to look at life, at our current life quickly and assess what's working and what's not. And to then be able to give yourself a focus um, on where to direct your energy um, to improve current situations and improve areas of life. So the three buckets that he talks about and he refers to our contribution, connection, and vitality. So contribution is what do you contribute to the world? In other words, what are your strengths? What are your gifts that you are putting out there into the world? Connection is the next bucket. And this is about your relationships. So your relationships with others, your relationship with God, with spirit, your relationship with nature. So the question around connection is what do you value and what do you believe in? And then the third element is vitality. So what is the state of your mental and your physical being, the state of your mind, the state of your body. And here, when you think of vitality, we're going to look at, well, when do I feel like I'm in flow and what lights me up? So the idea that Jonathan Fields puts forward is see these three elements as buckets. And Think about what or how do you best fill these buckets? So in order to thrive and to feel like we're living our best life, how do we keep these three buckets topped up and filled by what we contribute to the world, by the relationships that we have in our life, and by our vitality, so physically and mentally, how, we, how are we in ourselves and how do we present ourselves to the world? And he says on a daily basis, you should be looking at these buckets and seeing um, how full are they. And if one is feeling a little bit depleted, then what can I do to fill it up again? So each week I'll be focusing on one of these buckets. So I'll introduce the sphere. Uh, that we're going to be focusing on and I'll provide you with um, a short introduction, a guided meditation and then a few ideas of how to take the concept of one of these buckets into a creative process. Now I've had an incredible response to people wanting to do this with me which I'm absolutely thrilled about and a lot of people are saying, I really like the idea of this, but I'm, I'm really not artistic. I'm not creative. Um, but the idea is that we think of a concept, for example, vitality. We think about in the meditation, how does that make me feel? And then if I was to imagine a color, what comes to mind when you think of vitality? What are the colors that you think of? So for me, it's like, 
it's your warm, fiery, hot colors. It's your reds. It's your oranges. Um, it's a boldness of color. And so you might want to just think about that. And then maybe you've got a magazine close at hand that you can page through. And maybe you can just pull out or tear out little bits of color. And then on a piece of paper, just find a way to put all of these little scraps of paper together and create some form of um, art piece. Um, you can also use magazine imagery for this. If you don't have magazines accessible to you, maybe think about, well, do I have any old pieces of fabric, any pieces of wool, any uh, old wrapping papers? Maybe there's a way that I can combine these together and stick them onto a, a, a larger piece of paper and that can be a visual representation of what vitality feels like to me. Uh, if you have access to paints, to dyes, to pastels, you could take it into a drawing. If you don't have any art materials or any inclination to go into an art making process, you might just want to take your creative process into writing. So with pen and paper, sitting there and after the meditation, doing some stream of consciousness writing, which is free flow writing, anything that comes to mind, you write it down. The idea is that we want to focus more on the concept that we're dealing with at hand, whether it be contribution, connection or vitality, just thinking of that and how do I fill that bucket in my life and what can I do to increase it, to, to, to keep topping up that bucket. So art making is not essential in this program. Um, you could sit there and doodle if you wanted to. Um, yeah, so please don't feel bogged down or overwhelmed with the idea of um, I need to make a piece of art here. Um, yeah. Right, so after the art making process, whatever shape, way or form that takes with you, I will then um, provide you with some questions. We call these reflection questions and that's where you sit for a moment and you look at what you've produced. So whether that's a piece of writing, whether it's a doodle, whether it's a drawing, whether it's a painting, whether it's a collage, anything that you've focused your intention on and created something. You're going to sit with it, look at it, and then I'm going to ask you some questions. So that we can delve deeper into what does vitality really mean to me and how can how can I have more of that? Um, if you do go into the art making process, remember anything goes. Painting, doodling, colouring in, a sketch with with pen on paper, whatever way, shape or form that, that takes. The main important thing here is play with this, have fun, be curious and allow yourself to tap into the creative element within you. So it's very important not to have any outcomes, not to have any expectations of how your art piece should look at the end of your process, to practice uh, being in non-judgment. So letting yourself off the hook a little and saying, okay, I'm just going to play here. It really doesn't matter what the outcome looks like. Uh, I'm not going to concern myself with the idea of, well, I need to be an artist to do this and whatever thoughts come to mind. No judgment. This is a time where we are stepping into the unknown uh, in our lives. So step into the unknown with a sense of freedom, with a sense of letting go of, of all of the, the boundaries, the parameters that we put up for ourselves and let yourself play. So I will be sending via WhatsApp um, a meditation that I will have recorded. 
um, a little uh, film shorter than this one, a little video, uh, just introducing the, um, the theme, one of the three bucket themes. And then I will, on my website, I'll, I'll send you a link to that for the reflection questions. And then I'll also send you a link for the Facebook group that I have, which is called Heart Art. And then it would be really amazing if you wanted to share what you create or what came up for you um, on the Heart Art platform. And we'll keep in touch that way. So um, send me a, a private message if you have any questions uh, about this. Uh, and I'm really feeling my way into this. I've never done anything like this online uh, before. So um, yeah, we're going we're gonna to see how it goes day by day. But I'll be in touch shortly uh, with the next step.